This is the first video in a series I am calling Packing Up, Moving Out of Florida, and Moving Up to Ohio to build out and open a studio slash bakery in my garage. So if you were to walk into my condo right now, you would have a hard time believing that I am supposed to be moving in, well, let's see here. It is April 25th, and I have to pick up the moving truck on April 29th, so four days. I did a lot of packing back in December, but I need to finish packing the stuff inside here. But before I do that, I wanted to give you a tour of this condo, of where I've been making bread for the past four years. Um, and leave no stone unturned. I wanna show you everything. I didn't really get a chance to clean up, so this is, uh, this is as real as it gets, folks. Um, so I will grab this camera and I will take you on a tour of where I've been baking bread for the past four years in this little 750 square foot condo. Okay, so I am at the front door right now. You walk into the condo and immediately you are greeted with the Rackmaster RM2020. And let me actually back up and turn this thing around so you can kind of get a bird's eye view or whatever you call this. So you walk in and like I said, you've got the oven right here. My bike is usually not here, but it's here because I'm, I've got it. This station here is where I do most all of the bread shaping. This is the rest of the kitchen. There's not much that goes on in the kitchen. However, I do mix the bread there or the dough there, hand mix. This is all of the um, just different flours. So like here you'll see I've got Atticus food. So that's my starter food, rice flour to dust the bannetons, uh, the dark rye. What do we have here? Whole, whole, whole white type 80, just larger cameras that I mix the flour up in. This big thing here is my main bread flour. Uh, you got your stretch and fold bins, just some other odds and ends, little IR gun for the Rackmaster. Uh, this is the Rackmaster with all of those bannetons drying up there. So here's the fun thing, of, <laughs> it's not fun, but here's the thing about my Rackmaster. My electrical panel, which I'll show you in a second, is maxed out. There is no more adding circuits to it and I needed 220, so what I did was got this yellow 220 extension cord on Amazon and I run that bad boy all the way from back there into my bathroom here, which here's the panel. As you can see, there's not much growth. Maxed out and very old. There's my hand for reference. So in here, the hot water tank, I kill the breaker, I unplug there, I run a cable all the way from over here into the hot water tank. And that is how I preheat my oven and have it powered. And that is also part of the reason I don't have a mixer to mix. Although, I suppose I could plug the mixer into there and then plug the oven in and it's just, it's a hassle. But that's, uh, that's what we're doing. So really, ooh, got my iPad. Really the only other thing there would be to show you would be the refrigerator, but that's just where I um, cold proof the bread. The only other place that I have for like storage and stuff is under, under my workbench here and inside here. So I've got all kinds of different ancient grains and stuff over here, sesame seeds, and down below uh, just some of the just some of the bulk bags of the Central Milling Company flowers that I use. So, I don't know, I guess I just wanted to document that or show you that before I start packing this stuff up because that is the next step in this move, is packing so that I can load up and we can start the fun stuff, building the bakery, the HGTV stuff. So, like I said, that was just 
a short tour of the space. I'm looking forward to being in this new spot, but also recognizing the fact that it is, uh, it's going to be a while before I am able to actually make bread in the new space. Embracing the change, excited for the build out, excited to share the, uh, construction journey with you all. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all for now. Episode one of the, whatever this is in the bag. See you later.